Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how I managed to adjust the X and Y axes of my Prusa Mark III S Plus to be perfectly perpendicular so that I don't have to rely on software compensation. For this trick, you'll need a straight edge and you'll need to remove the steel sheet from the heat bed. Disable your stepper motors so that you can move the heat bed toward the back of the printer. This is easier done from the back, but you can also do it from the front if you don't have access to the back. Place your straight edge on the heat bed. Make sure uh, to be very careful to not scratch the surface of the PCB heat bed. And also make sure that the straight edge is sitting flush against the front face of the vertical frame. Now gently move the heat bed so that the 55 millimeter line is lined up with the edge of the straight edge. If the dashed line does not line up parallel to your straight edge, then your axes are either skewed or your bed is somehow rotated by itself. So now, if they are skewed, then adjust by loosening these four M3 screws with a hex 2.5 screwdriver or um, Allen key and move the bed left or right until the lines do line up. If you have some kind of square tool, like a combination square or carpenter square, you can do two more checks. For these, lower your Z-axis all the way down and disable the stepper motors again. Find a reference point on the extruder assembly. In this case, I'm gonna pick the side of the extruder motor and then find a second reference point, in this case, uh, the side of the fan so that I have a consistent location to place my square tool. I'm gonna move the x-axis so that the square tool lines up exactly with the vertical dashed line, in this case, the 150 line. Now I'm gonna move the heat bed to the other end and place the square tool there again in the same location relative to the extruder and check if the dashed line on the heat bed still lines up with the tip of the square tool. The last check is using the x-axis linear shafts. So I'm going to place the square tool against these shafts and line up the heat bed so that the dashed line lines up with the tip of the square tool again, and then move the square tool to the other side and check if it still lines up with that line. Once you're done, you can go run your XYZ calibration. And once you've done that, it should tell you that it is within the threshold that it considers to be perpendicular. And then you can further go into the support menu, scroll down to XYZ Cal details and actually look at the measured skew that the printer has measured. Now, once it's below the slight skew threshold of 0 0.12 degrees, it's pretty much within the margin of error of the printer itself, in my opinion. So at this point, you should be pretty much satisfied. Uh, your best bet beyond this would be to actually measure the skew of your printed parts. Let me know if this worked for you and stay tuned because I'm developing a method to easily calibrate the steps per millimeter and horizontal expansion simultaneously for a perfect dimensional accuracy using this 3D print.